Hi, well, welcome to Show and Tell. It's great to have you here tonight. Um, you brought in a, a very interesting item today. Can you talk a little bit about what it is and how it works? This is actually a water cooler, and I'll just show it off in that you can move it, lifting it by the handle. Um, this sits on the frame, and it originally would have had a ceramic liner inside to keep the water cool, but the ceramic liner's long gone. Mm -hmm. um, so you'd lift your cup, you'd fill it, and if there were any drips, they would fall into this piece at the bottom, which pulls out and can be emptied. Or if you didn't finish your water, you could dump it in there as well. Um, it was a gift from the employees of Imperial Oil, dated um, 1884 in Petrolia, and it was gifted to my great-great-grandfather, John Rowe Minhinick. Um, his home at the time was in London, but he was one of the first, uh, he's one of the 16 original founders of Imperial Oil. Mm -hmm. Wow. And can you tell us um, a bit about, you brought a patent as well. Yes. The patent, he was not only involved in the oil industry in Oil Springs area, he had and, had and sold multiple oil refineries in the city of London. And he has a patent for Minhinick's oil washer, cooler, and evaporator. And it was registered on the 10th of November of 1876. And I don't know how it worked, but <laughs> <laughs> they must have felt it was worth patenting, so. That's great, well thank you so much for sharing this uh, with us. It has such an interesting design and um, great connection to our local history. So thanks for being here. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for being here at Show and Tell um, today. It's great to, to see what you've brought in. Um, can you tell me a little bit maybe about the curling stones first? Yeah, the curling stones um, belonged to my father's uh, great uncle. My father was Murray Bradley. He owned the oil well supply company in Petrolia Discovery in Petrolia. And his uh, great uncle, Richard Isaiah Bradley, um, came from Scotland in the 1860s and brought his curling stones with him. This is the original box and curling stones that, that he brought. Um, his plant uh, was on the Discovery Line, which used to be the Blind Line. It's Discovery Line now. And uh, unfortunately, uh, one evening, um, he had just left his uh, office to go up uh, to his office uptown, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the plant uh, blew up and uh, his brother and two other workers were killed in the uh, in that accident so did, did they rebuild after that and stay in the industry or did I don't believe so different? I think I don't think it was ever rebuilt well and it's pretty yeah. amazing that they brought these curling stones all the way from from yeah. Scotland that would be yeah. heavy yeah <laughs> pretty they heavy were made from granite it says uh, selected from a small island off the coast of Scotland so wow and uh, I think they're um, likely heavier and, and the, the curling stones today, I, I believe, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So we've also got some shadow boxes here that have some uh, mini tools yeah. inside of them. Can you tell me about those? Yeah, these tools were uh, made by my father, Murray Bradley, um, back in the 1980s, so they're not that old, but they're a replica mm -hmm. of some of the tools he collected over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, Dad had over 2,000 different uh, tools that he collected over a 20 or 30 year period mm -hmm. and uh, I do still have some of the original tools that were from his family or from Lampton County Petrolia area so we do have a lot of the tools left but these are replicas of, uh, of uh, some of the, the tools he ha had made. Or, he, or had collected over the years, yeah. Did yeah. he try to focus on collecting tools that were kind of made and used here in Lambton County, or did he collect all of them? Oh, he collected all tools from all over the wherever world. Wherever he could yeah, get them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wherever he could find them. He had a, what they call an ultimatum brace one time, and he knew that were there were only three that he knew of in existence, you know. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, so he had some pretty good... I remember uh, a story of... Uh, 
the minister did a service. He was a friend of mine, and he said, I asked Murray one day, what was the most expensive tool he bought or how much money he spent? Yeah. He said, well, I'll tell you, but don't ever tell Dick. <laughs> no, yeah. So it, the things weren't cheap, you know. He spent yeah. a lot of money. And, mm. uh, yeah, it was a great hobby. And uh, Is this uh, a, bi a business card? Yeah, that was that one of his used? little business cards. Oh, I love it. It's shaped yeah, like yeah. a toolbox, and then the, yeah. top, the top would flip yeah. up um, yeah. with the name. So. That's really unique. Yeah. So. Wonderful. Yeah, and Dad was in the oil industry all his life, and yeah, and uh, yeah, so yeah, thank well, you. Thank you so much for sharing that with yeah. us.